And right now, a man accused of exposing himself near UCF is back on the streets. We were there as he walked out of the Orange County Jail hours after being booked. Amanda Castro joins us live with more on this. She's near campus, and while he's out of jail now, investigators are trying to figure out if this guy's linked to some other cases. Yeah, Bridget, they've got some work ahead of them. Investigators from UCF police, along with the Orange County and Seminole County Sheriff's Office, are now trying to figure out if this same guy is connected to those similar incidents dating as far back as 2015. Get out of my face. Anything? No comment at all. To the women? Right. Sean Garrity had nothing to say to us as he bonded out of the Orange County Jail overnight. The sheriff's office say they found the 23 year old suspect on the third floor of this parking garage near UCF after witnesses saw him exposing himself. I kept looking away and I didn't want to think that that's what he was doing. UCF student Chase Bergen was driving out of the garage when she says she caught Garrity in the act. And this student, who didn't want to be identified, says she saw him and called police. And when I got to the third floor, I noticed a man between two cars. Deputies say Garrity might be connected to other cases on and around campus since 2015. Earlier this month, investigators released this surveillance video after an unknown man exposed himself to another student in a parking garage. And in July, detectives say the man in this sketch committed a similar crime. Luckily, I was in the safety of my vehicle and not walking by because then it might have been a different story. Now, investigators are still working to determine if Garrity is, in fact, connected to those other cases. But we do know for sure that he is charged with indecent exposure for that most recent crime here in this parking garage. Now, anyone with information is asked to call detectives of the Orange County Sheriff's Office to help them solve these cases. Reporting live in Orange County, Amanda Castro, News 6. Thank you, Amanda.